If you do not heal from a bad breakup, whether it was your fault or not, your next relationship will become rehab. So one of the main talking points I'm hearing today is that marriage isn't worth it. Now, in the past, I used to hear a lot of males say this, and the reasons they were citing was because of the so-called unfair laws against them, particularly in divorce court, that if for some reason the marriage dissolves, he could lose half or all of everything. Now I'm starting to hear more women say the same thing, and they're stating that, you know, it's harder for them to find anyone that's compatible. And I'm hearing this a lot amongst my African-American sisters. Now, as I observe the landscape and these dynamics with relationships in my everyday life, when I'm at work or just in general out in public, and even some people that I have known and my own life, from the past. Now, many of you know that follow my channel, the woman I'm married to now is my second wife. I was married before. It didn't even last a year. The emotional trauma from that marriage could have left me red-pilled, like some of the guys are saying today. But back then, there was no such thing as red-pilled. We didn't even have cell phones, social media, or internet. Okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm telling my age here. The main thing that I'm seeing here with these complaints and I'm not belittling or putting down the men or the women's complaints about this. I, I just believe that they're viewing marriage and relationships the wrong way. I firmly believe that marriage is an institution developed and given to man as a gift from God. Now, most men wouldn't agree with that. A lot of men and even some women believe that marriage is nothing more than a man-made construct that in the past that it was used to pass on wealth or keep wealth in the family or to uh, sole survivors or heirs. Now, if you follow man's perspective on that, that's certainly true. But for God's perspective, that's not true. It takes work, okay, to be in a marriage, especially now because you got two imperfect people coming together. Now, one thing I do know is that if the two people are not submitted to God, that it's going to be darn near impossible for it to work. Yes, marriage can be tough. It can be tough. So I'm not going to sit here and say it's not. Now, some of the fellas are saying that the women here are not fit, friendly, and feminine. Now, the women. <laughs> I hear some of the women give this bill on the, their reasons and Usually, it has a very hypergamous approach to it, okay? Like, well, you know, I pulled myself up from the bootstraps. I need a guy that makes as much or more than I do. Or you have some women that will say, well, I need him to, to look a certain way, uh, have this type of career or job. I rarely, I rarely heard any of them talk about the character of the man, right? It's always tied to some form of material thing that will lead ultimately to their own satisfaction and uh, fulfillment, not even the guys. So I could see how, you know, you can have this, I, I like to call it this mosh pit of emotions and strife and tussling amongst these men and women. But today at church, I was listening to Minister, Minister Isaac. Hey, Mr. Isaac, man, I, I got to bite you. one of the things you said. But he said something that I think really brings things into perspective here, uh, especially when it comes to relationships, because I see a lot of men and women from all generations just going in and out of relationships like NASCAR, man, like a Formula One race. And this is what he said. If you do not heal from, you know, a relationship or a bad breakup, whether it was your fault or not, your next relationship will become rehab. And the next girlfriend or boyfriend, a husband or wife is going to be a, your therapist. Now, that's heavy when you think about it. Because when you think of rehab, you know, if you got a relationship, rehab is you trying to work out kinks, work out things and 
You like it's imagine someone being on drugs or addicted, have some sort of an addiction, and you're you're going through withdrawals and the tussle and the pain. So basically, it's going to be a painful process here. Yes, marriages work and relationships can be daunting, but it should not be this type of hustle and tussle and striving and. And I could see that being so, again, because as men and women, if you don't submit to God, you're going you're gonna to have problems. Now, I know some people that may see this video will say, well, you know, the people in the church know better, and you're right. You know, uh, the shameful thing is some people in the church haven't had a great example, okay? I've been a Christian since the first Gulf War, and I, I've been through that divorce, and if I would not have a humbled myself before God, I probably would be on my third marriage. Not saying that my wife didn't have no issues, but I can't point her faults out. I got to just look at myself. And that's another thing. He said something else, too. He said, if you're dating someone, if you want to know if this person is the right one, is this person pointing you towards God or pulling you away from God? Is this person adding to your life to to make you want to be more fruitful for the kingdom? Or is he causing or she causing you to pull back from it? You know, that's how you can tell whether or not the relationship. If the relationship is caused bringing out the worst, right, in you, not necessarily saying that uh, you're fighting, maybe you're so-called having fun, but you're doing things that you know that are not right, especially if you say that you're a Christian, then that relationship probably isn't for you. But if you're married, it's vitally important that that you get close to God and get instructions from him through his word and through Bible a Bible-believing church that will tell you the truth and congregate around couples that regards, regard God's word uh, above all else and have a track record of success in a marriage not perfect, but a good track record. But however, as the video suggested, marriage is, is for grown people. It really is. And uh, it's not something that should be taken lightly. And I still believe that it is a blessing from God. The scripture says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains the favor of the Lord. And I believe that. But anyhow, um, just some tidbits to think about. Please leave some feedback. I want to hear your thoughts, but let's keep these thoughts clean. No fighting. You know, if you don't agree with me, it's cool. I get it. Okay. Uh, I just want to know where you're at on this. And uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.